Hi guys, in this video we will talk about constipation. It's a very common disease uh, and most of us will experience in some point of our lifetime. Actually there are many definitions of constipation. The first definition is that if you are passing stool less than 3 days in a week, it's also constipation. Or infrequent passage of stool which is hard is also constipation. Or even if you are passing stool every day but the stool is hard is also known as constipation. And another thing is that even if you are passing stool every day but you are doing it repeatedly and you are not satisfied. What I mean by satisfied is that you are passing stool and you feel that you haven't completed your bowel movement properly. You still feel that you need to go to the washroom again and again to evacuate your fecal matter. This is known as incomplete evacuation. This is also known as constipation, right? So why is the constipation developed? I'll tell you in the later part, but we should understand what is the onset of constipation. The onset of constipation is that if there is a neonate, a neonate means from the date of birth till 28 days of life, a very small baby, okay? If that baby has constipation, then we should suspect the baby might be having a disease known as Hirschsprung disease. In this disease, the baby will have constipation with the colon dilatation. Okay, the colon will get dilated and the baby will have constipation. Now, another case will be if there is a middle-aged man and an elderly man. Middle age can be around 40-50 years and elderly 60 plus. If they have a frequent or recent, not frequent, a recent change in their bowel habits, maybe the frequency, the amount, some there's pain, there's some bleeding, he didn't have constipation, develop constipation, all this thing, then we should suspect in that age group, the individual might have a carcinoma of the colon. Okay, please get it checked and be careful about this in this age group. All right. Or else. If you're having abdominal pain, you're having weight loss, you are straining a lot, you're straining in such an extent that whenever you need to pass your stool, your facial expression changes or you are having rectal bleeding, this will suggest that you are having a disease known as inflammatory bowel disease. Okay, so now why do we have constipation? There are maybe two reasons. There may be some problem with your food and there may be some problem with problem with your peristalsis okay i'll tell you by example let's say this is your intestine this is the entry port and this is the exit port all right so if the food actually enters your intestine it comes to the middle of the intestine the part which is behind your food will actually contract and the part which is after your food that is in front of your food will dilate in this process the food will get propelled safely it will and uh, it will be moving forward to have a movement in the forward direction so the function is that that the, uh, the food will be moving forward and there will be breakdown of the food and there will be increase in the nutrition absorptive capacity of the small intestine this is known as peristaltic movement of the small intestine the food comes here the behind part will contract the forward part will dilate the food will move forward this is known as peristalsis in some cases, the peristaltic movement of the intestine has been hampered. One of the most common causes, if you are having some issue with your thyroid gland, if you are having hypothyroidism, that is you are having low level of thyroid hormone, your peristaltic movement of your intestine is reduced. The next case is that if you are having some issue with your heart or if you are having some issue with your blood pressure, that is you are having high blood pressure or you are having some issue with your heart, you are taking medication. For your heart or your blood pressure that drug will also reduce the peristaltic movement of your intestine all right the third one is that the third uh, third one is that if you're having any pain in your joint let's say you're having any pain in your neck you're having any pain in your shoulder you're having pain in your lower back or your knee you will be taking painkillers that painkillers will also reduce the peristaltic movement of your food all right the second cause, the there is some problem in your food, okay, that is the food that you're eating is actually very hard for your body to digest or the food is very hard. So if your food do not contain any amount of fiber, what are the food that will not contain any amount of fiber is your junk foods, your cake, pastries, 
pizza, burger, this will not contain any amount of fiber. If there is no fiber, the food will, the, that, the food that goes in the stomach will become very hard and it will be a very difficult process for your body to push out your food stuff. Alright, so, and also if you are eating, uh, drinking less amount of water, obviously if you drink less amount of water, the stool will get hard because it will not have any moisture. So this is the main two reason that you will have constipation. Either you have some issue with the peristalsis, it's been hampered due to hypothyroidism, due to you are taking drugs that are having side effects of your heart issues, or you are taking drugs for your high blood pressure, or you are taking some painkillers, or you are eating food that are very hard for your body to digest. You are drinking less amount of water, and you are not taking fibers. In that cases, you will have constipation now how would you manage that you have constipation now let's say you understood that you have constipation how would you treat and how would you manage that you are having constipation the first thing that you should do is that you should increase your fiber intake increase your uh, vegetable increase your fruits in your food and then reduce your junk food also increase physical activity whenever you do physical activity your intestinal motility will increase the peristaltic motility will increase all right and uh, do any sort of physical exercises any sort of physical exercises increase your dietary fiber increase your water intake water intake will make your soft stool soft so after this also you don't find any symptomatic relief let's say you did for around 15 20 days you didn't find any relief then you go to take uh, fibers from the external sources okay the external sources is known as isab ghol okay you are taking isab ghol you will be taking around two to three teaspoons in warm water or warm milk at night okay but there is side effect if you are taking isab ghol for a very long time let's say six months seven eight nine one year then you might have some issue with your absorption of calcium and absorption of your iron Right. or you might have some issue with your gas formation so it's a very good idea if you're taking calcium supplements and you're taking iron supplements if you're taking isabol for a very long time now let's say you took isabol you did the forward uh, the top part you did your exercise you did your increase fiber intake you increase your water didn't work then you came to isabol use that even it didn't work then what is the next level of management next level will be taking milk of magnesia You'll be taking milk of magnesia around 5 to 10 ml. If you don't have milk of magnesia, you'll go to the second alternative that is PEP, uh, polyethylene glycol. Polyethylene glycol, again 5 to 10 ml of polyethylene glycol. If you don't have that, then again you'll be going to another substitute that is known as lactulose. So how does this three thing work actually? It makes your stool soft and also the lining of the intestine, also the lining of the intestine, it will make it smooth, it will make it very smooth so as that your, your food can pass very easily. Alright, after this also it didn't work. After this also it didn't work. Most of the patient till this level your problem will be gone. Okay, even if it doesn't work, at that time you should suspect there is some issue with your intestinal motility. Either you might be having hypothyroidism. Or you might be taking some drugs that say painkillers or you might be taking some drugs for your high blood pressure or your heart issues that is actually reducing your uh, motility so for that you should discuss with your doctor either your doctor will reduce the dose or he might change the class of the drug after this also you don't have uh, after this also you don't leave by the symptoms then you should go and meet a general surgeon or you should know me go and meet a gastro surgeon at that time he might be doing a manual evacuation of your stool he might be putting a lidocaine jelly in your finger in his finger and then manually remove the stool or he might be doing a procedure known as enema he might be putting a solution from your anal canal and he will flush out and will make the stool very soft this is the basic management of your uh, constipation most of the patient, if you in, uh, in most of the patient, this condition will be resolved only if you increase your physical exercise, increase your water intake, increase your fiber, and uh, increase your fruits and vegetables, and reduce 
food that is not very hard for your body to digest it is like junk food and also please try to avoid uh, float okay the float in most of the patient with this only uh, the symptoms of constipation will be relieved and if it doesn't relieve then again you will go to the next step you'll be using external dietary fiber and after it doesn't release you'll go to milk from indonesia you'll go to your lactulose even if it doesn't get increased you will be changing some drugs if you're taking some long term drugs doesn't increase uh, doesn't improve you'll be going to your surgeon and this is what how you can manage the constipation so constipation is not a very serious disease but sometimes it, it is very stressful for the patient most of us will have constipation at some point of life it will be like 2 3 days it's okay but it should not be chronic so this is a basic uh, understanding of constipation and if you have any questions you may leave down in the comment section or if you have any suggestions please do the same yeah thanks bye